Hi everyone, I'm Dan Freed, the creator of Biochemistry Literacy for Kids, and I wanted to share with you guys today these beautiful 3D printed orange phosphorus atoms that were generously created and printed for me by Tangible Creative in Newark, New Jersey. Now this structure is called polyphosphorus. It's actually how our cells store phosphate ions. They kind of polymerize them into these very long structures. And I've always dreamed of creating these geometrically correct phosphorus pieces that have this tetrahedral geometry. Let's look a little bit closer at that geometry. We have this perfect tetrahedral shape to it that has two uh, holes that are kind of close to each other so we can get this nice double bond. And then the other bonds give us this really nice tetrahedral uh, platform. And uh, with this molecule, this is phosphoric acid, we can see that it is a triprotic acid, which means that there are three protons which we can uh, deprotonate and take off and it's great for teaching the concept of a polyatomic ion. Another cool application for these phosphate 3D printed pieces is to show enzyme phosphorylation. This is a tyrosine that has been phosphorylated as you can see at the end and it's just great to have the correct geometry for our orange phosphorus. So here's the molecule you've probably all been waiting for, ATP itself. We can see those beautiful three phosphate groups that are kind of connected to each other. Many of our processes in our cells are driven by the hydrolysis of ATP. So what I mean by that is that the bonds between these phosphates are prone to breaking. Those processes drive things like muscle contraction. They turn enzymes on and off. They do all kinds of important things. So beautiful to see a correct structure of ATP. We can also use these phosphate pieces to model processes from metabolism. This molecule right here is fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, which means that there's two phosphates attached. Why are the phosphates so important? Well, again, the negative charge from the lone pair electrons on those oxygens of the phosphates repel each other. And this allows the cell to break these molecules apart into two pieces. That's the glycolysis itself where we actually break the sugar in half. That's what glycolysis means. So really beautiful to see correct geometry on our phosphate groups. So I've already introduced to you this beautiful pentavalent orange 3D printed phosphorus piece from Tangible Creative and uh, this allows us to create a beautiful tetrahedral geometry from the phosphate uh, ion or phosphoric acid as I'm showing here. But there's other pieces that the, they also created for me, which I'm really excited about. This is a tetrahedral hexavalent 3D printed yellow uh, sulfur atom. And this allows us to correctly model sulfuric acid or the sulfate ion. Now we can use these 3D printed pieces to correctly model detergent molecules like SDS, sodium dodecyl sulfate. We have our little sodium on top here and our beautiful hexavalent sulfate group on the long hydrocarbon chain. This is a common detergent that you probably have in your kitchen right now. Now we've seen hexavalent sulfurs created before for these model sets. The common one is the octahedral arrangement. This is sulfur hexafluoride, so we've all seen that one. We've also seen H2S, hydrogen sulfide, but we have not seen this beautiful 3D geometry that is correct for sulfuric acid. Now the last piece I want to show you, which was also created by Tangible Creative, is a heptavalent chlorine atom. Now this atom has a lot of holes in it that we can use to connect all those double bonds correctly, and we get this really nice um, tetrahedral geometry, which is how perchloric acid should look. If we deprotonate it, we get perchlorate, and uh, perchlorate is actually what's used in rocket fuel. So it's not the most biological molecule around, although this has been found on other planets. Uh, it's probably not going to be very helpful for living things, but it's still really important to see that, that trend that we can go from a tetrahedral phosphoric acid to a tetrahedral sulfuric acid to a tetrahedral perchloric acid. So it's really beautiful to see that set that's 3D printed, so I hope that you check out Tangible Creative because they uh, can create amazing things. And I'm, again, very grateful to what they've done. And we're going to be using these molecules in all kinds of educational programs in the future. So I'm really looking forward to it.